My first day of school, or actually like the, the second day of school, ended up being an entire assembly full of the whole school from like kindergarten all the way up to fifth grade announcing the new kid. Like, I yeah. just want to call her and <laughs> go to recess and, and have lunch. Like, as a kid, it was a terrible experience, but as an adult, I'm like, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> Welcome back to Life with Fee, where we really have something important to talk to you guys about today because it's just, this is every day when we have encounters with every children. Day. Yeah, every day. every day. And it's like, how, how do we educate our children about how to deal with differences? Because um, people are different, but some are more different than others. And some people stand out more, like Tish and I, when we walk into a grocery store, kids are like glued to us and like, like stare at us. I was just at the airport yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, is this kid ever gonna stop staring at me? Because it started to make me feel a little self-conscious, you know? But you know, children are young, they're, you know, they're naive, and the question is, what do we do to bring about awareness and educating them about how, about differences? Because I mean, we all experience this, uh, especially like I was telling you, there was one story I had where I was at a Baskin Robbins getting some ice cream, which I absolutely love ice cream. And I showed up at, I think it was like 99 cent scoop day at Baskin Robbins. And I went over there to get my ice cream and I pulled the credit card out of my shoe to make the purchase. And all of a sudden I noticed this little girl behind me she literally like jumps back a whole foot and her <laughs> face is of terror she's like absolutely terrified when she sees that I'm doing this transaction with my foot and I'm like you know I, I mean I, I hate the fact that I scared her and I was just wondering have you ever had something like that happen to you where the kid is like so shocked or scared or something happens that's really that catches you off guard there I definitely I could probably go on for years on <laughs> stories of kids that um, I've been interacted with in the past just couple of years um, but I really think that their experiences children are naturally curious they're experiencing the world for the, you know the first time and not being able to experience seeing someone who doesn't have arms or someone who's in a wheelchair that's different for them and so naturally they're going to stare and wonder and be curious and in those situations I like to take the opportunity to address either the, the child or even like the parents and let them know that it's okay that I'm different and it's okay that your child is staring at me and he's just curious and I'm more than willing to sit down and even if it's just like a, a five second conversation or where he's like, where's your arms? And I say, I was born without arms. Kids are so understanding. They're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> like, okay, I'm glad you understand because I don't, but <laughs> um, just, uh, I was in line the other day uh, waiting to check out and there was a kid who was asking me, his mother, he goes, hey, you know, she doesn't have arms. Just pointing it out, all natural. And I'm like, yep, that's true. And his mom was like so nice. She was like, well, why don't you, why don't you ask her? Like, why don't you talk to her about it? And so like, I, you know, gently like turned around and I was like, hi, like I'm Tisha. And he's like, what's that on your leg? And I was like, that's my prosthetic. <laughs> and I like to like gauge like how old the child is, trying to figure out like what, how I, I can explain things to him. And he was very young, he was like maybe six or seven, so I was like, it's a robot leg. And he goes, oh my god, that's cool. And I was like, yeah, I'm like Iron Man. He goes, I want one. I'm like, mm, okay, no, I don't think you do, but okay. Uh, so we, I interacted with this child and we had a really cool like, like three minute conversation where he was just asking me questions. And I was like, I was born without arms. and. And he was like, oh, oh, that happens? And I was like, yeah, sometimes it happens. And his mom, like, I definitely appreciate his mom not shushing him mm. and saying, shh, don't, don't talk about her or she's different. We don't talk about those people or like even like leaving the line because she's embarrassed of her child being curious. Has it ever happened though? Has anyone ever like done that? Oh, so I was at uh, Walmart walking around with my husband and there was an incident where I heard the child behind me going, mom, 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 she doesn't have arms. She doesn't have arms. And you know, I take the time to 
like gauge like the situation mm -hmm. like you know how Walmart is <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I you know was just walking away and they turned the corner and I could hear her slap him across the face and basically yelling at him saying we don't talk about those people oh I'm appalled I was mortified like I really wanted to just go back and like yell at that woman but again like we're at Walmart like she could be carrying a gun I don't know <laughs> Uh, but like that that was like a really teaching moment for her child to understand that people are different and it's okay And I think that what he learned that day was that people are different. It's not okay mm. And so he's gonna grow up thinking or like seeing someone else like the next person he sees He's going to either run away or feel uncomfortable Not wanting to talk about it and then that type of behavior is taught through generation to generation. And it's really upsetting because we live in a society where there's more people with disabilities than ever before. <clears throat> and we just wanna be treated like act, like human beings. Yeah. Uh, but for her to slap him across the face, I was I was like scared for him. And mm -hmm. like scared for like the next generation who might not be as accepting to my disability as, you know, if she would have come up to me or if he would have come up to me, I would have been like, yeah, I don't have arms, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, but so yeah, please, please parents, don't slap your child across the face and say, we don't, <laughs> we don't talk about those people. That's awful. I mean, gosh, I feel so bad. I wish I was there to kind of console you on that situation <laughs> because that's pretty rough. What that's, would what would you do? Uh, as someone in the yeah. audience, I, I definitely want to know, yeah. like, what would you do in that situation where someone like a kid was saying hey like hey that kid that kid's different or that person is different and the mother or parent says we don't talk about those people like it's very mm -hmm. discriminative and it goes across you know disability race um ethnicity uh religion mm -hmm. it discrimination exists everywhere i want to know like how would you handle a situation like that what would you do or how would you handle talking to either the kid or the parent i i think that's that's something that we'd like to hear in the comments so let us know if you have a better idea about it because um i have to also be the voice of some other people who have disabilities who are not comfortable about talking oh, uh, yeah. you know talking about their for for reasons that we may not even know it may, it may have been a traumatic thing that caused their disability they may have went through an accident or lost it to due to disease disease or something that happened medically so sometimes people don't always want to talk about it so i think i would like to share with you that if someone is not comfortable about talking about their life and why they have a disability, just leave them Leave them be. Let them um, go into their own space and, and, and understand that not everyone's comfortable about it. Um, some people, it brings up bad memories of something that happened. So we have to be respectful of those people and, and the fact that they don't want to sit there and spend five minutes educating the whole world about the accident that happened 10 years ago, you know? Definitely, I, I totally agree with that. Um, I'm one of those people that are like super open and mm -hmm. like, I mean, we make videos on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we're doing right now. Exactly. So I feel comfortable talking yeah. to people about yeah. uh, situations, whether it's like on the internet or even like out and about. So I know I feel comfortable and I would assume that you would feel comfortable too mm -hmm. if a parent or a child came up to you and asked you uh, questions about your disability. But yeah, definitely some people just don't feel comfortable with it. And that's, that's okay too. That's a teaching moment for, for you and your child to, to understand that everyone has their personal space and I guess you, you met that that person's personal space. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know also what, how you would approach this type of subject. Well, what would you tell your child because we're not parents but we just want to give that advice to parents who have this experience. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to patreon.com slash toe talks to help us produce more videos to educate more people about how to deal with differences. So if you guys are interested in watching more of our videos, I would definitely go and watch this particular one where I talk about my experience working at a pizzeria where an adult had a hissy fit and made a huge scene about it. So kids are one thing, but adults should definitely know better. Definitely check that one out, um, and we will see you in the next one.